So today's video is a giant Asian mantis care guide. Part one is housing, which I think is probably one of the most important parts to start out with. So for all species of mantids, their housing needs to be two times their length wide and three times their length high. This is to help them mold correctly by giving them enough space and enough room to climb on and catch their food. Temperature needs to be between about 21 and 24 degrees Celsius, or that's 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity needs to be about 40% to 60% as too high a humidity can cause your mantid to die and it also helps them molt correctly when it is the correct uh, percentage. Part two is food. So the first part about food is how to tell when your mantis is hungry. As you can see, Lola here has a flat abdomen, uh, which means that she's ready for a meal. Um, so we'll probably give her some locusts and stuff like that. When Lola was younger, she used to eat flightless fruit flies that we get here in the UK. And she ate them up until she was about an L2. And then when she turned into an L3, which means she'd molted twice, I started giving her some locusts. Um, so along with locusts, I also offered her crickets which I know can be a bit of an uh, issue, but she seemed to have no problem eating them at all. Depending what size your mantis is, depends what size food you can offer it. Obviously, as they get older, you can offer them slightly bigger food. Uh, when Lola gets a bit bigger, I'll be offering her some dubia roaches and also some mealworms with their heads cut off as a bit of a snack. However, they are not as nutritious, so are not to be used as a main meal all the time. Wax worms can also be used for a slightly older mantis who struggle with the tough exteriors. Um, but you can also let these wax worms develop into moths and a mantis will love to eat them as well. Along with food, you should also offer your mantis water. This can be as simple as spraying down every other day um, to off so that they can drink, but it also helps to keep them humidity high in their enclosure. Uh, as you can see, Lola is eating now, but once she's full, her abdomen will become slightly larger. Uh, this is normally uh, after about three or four locusts at this stage. I have also heard of people offering their mantises some honey and water on the end of a Q-tip if they are feeling a bit sluggish or they are concerned that they're not getting enough to drink. Part 3. Sexing and Moulding with giant Asian mantids being a larger species, it is normally easier to tell if they are male or female. I'm pretty confident that Lola is here is a female because she has six segments across her abdomen. I've been able to see this from since she was about an L3, and now that she's L4, it is pretty obvious. Um, so a female will have six segments on their abdomen, and a male will have eight. Both male and female will molt about seven times till they reach adulthood. Uh, females live approximately 18 months while the males live a couple of months shorter than this. So that was everything I felt like you needed to know if you wanted to start looking into keeping giant Asian mantises. Obviously a lot of what I have said would apply to other mantises but I'm specifically focusing on giant Asian mantises as that is the one that I have. Um, if you want to see any more videos going into more detail about giant Asian mantises then let me know. And that's it, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll be coming out with another video. Soon.